Just wanted to throw an update. Ah. <laughs> I forgot about this part. Just wanted to throw an update together. Um, I'm going to put up a couple clips here. For the people inside the DIY sauna course at saunacourses.com, um, I have been getting the requests and we have been working on it. This two-person portable sauna, the wheelchair one, and then the transfer assist, the like the extra large size, this is proving to be really, really difficult. I thought we would have it done maybe, I don't know, two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. I'm going to roll some footage so you can see um, a couple of the fail boats that we had. And I shouldn't really call them fail boats. It's just for the people that requested, you know, hey, can you make a two or a three person portable sauna? And can you avoid having a ramp or at least be able to fit um, an electric wheelchair, self-powered wheelchair and a transfer bench and have a space for an assistant to be in there for uh, assisted transfer? Working on it. Um, I don't even know how to explain this while working through how to do this. I'm kind of stumbling through it because it's not really my specialty. I don't really even know the right way to do this stuff. So the equipment that we have going currently that I thought was going to be awesome is not, <laughs> there's two problems with it though. The first problem is when in, in, and this is in my opinion, like, I don't even know if this is the right, um, way to even approach this, but when we're testing out um, maybe wheeling someone in and doing transfer or having room for two people, if you're really trying to do stuff that involve body mechanics, you've got to be able to stand up and move around like in a normal posture position. And some of these tents and cabinets, what we were trying to do is avoid them getting you know too, too large because it takes up too much space. What you have happened is, you know, if you have a five by six or a four by six uh, tent, and you're going to use some type of transfer, you're going to have multiple people, or you're going to use an electric chair to get in and out. One of the things is we never accounted for the additional space that you need in order to either drive it in, wheel it in, or whatever. So if you're talking about a four by six tent, depending on where the door is and how it's situated in the room, you really need like eight or nine feet just to be able to maneuver in and out. And then the other problem that we had is, so the doors aren't in the right place. That's number one. Number two is sometimes the doors are shorter than the frame, depending on um, like the actual makeup of that particular design or size or whatever. They're not all the same. So been through a couple of different tents, been through a couple of different sizes, uh, trying to work this out. I'm going to roll some footage uh, from a couple of weeks ago so that you can see just as an update. Um, I am working on this. I'm trying my best to come up with the best solution. Um, for the requests that have been made. Thank you guys for your patience. Um, I'm sorry I'm not quicker. This is just not my, really not my forte. <laughs> I'm just trying to do the best that I can to come up with a workable option that is really large that can accommodate electric chair, multiple people, sometimes maybe even three to, to four people if needed. Um, and it's not that three or four people are gonna be in there. It's just the space for that so that you can have a space for the electric chair, a space for the actual occupant that's going to do the sauna session, a space for the transfer bench, because those need to go side by side. You don't want to have to like put them in later after you wheel in. And then an extra position for either an assistant, if it's assisted or, you know, whatever those different, everyone's kind of like in a different uh, situation, mobility wise. Some people are, are even just using like, um, uh, I don't want to call it a cane, but you know, they want to be able to walk in and have an extra width and extra space uh, to be able to get in and out a lot easier. So the other challenge has been, okay, if someone is sitting instead of standing when they're, when they're going in and out, one of the things that we're worried about is people getting burned with the heat lamps because some of the heat lamp, um, housings come with those little crossbar, uh, shields and stuff. The reason that I don't recommend those in the, the basic parts list or the master parts list for most of the um, infrared sauna, like uh, the single person ones or the two person ones, is because it's not that they don't work. It'll stop you from smashing the bulb or hitting the bulb or whatever. The, the problem is <laughs> the surface temperature of the bulb itself is several hundred degrees. You put these metal crossbars in front of it. Yeah, it'll stop you from breaking that or smashing it or whatever, but those get just as hot because they're right in front. I mean, they're like two inches away. So as far as it being a burn safety thing, the reason that I keep them out generally of the recommendations is because it kind of gives you a false sense of security when it comes to the heat or potentially getting burned. So one of the things that I've been really, you know, 
focused on is how do we mount these lights in a different position to get more heat because these really, really large tents have larger cubic footage. So usually you can't take the same amount of wattage as a smaller enclosure would use and expect the same amount of heat or the same preheat time or whatever. It's actually performing, well, hello, chainsaw. I guess the, um, the tree trimming people are here. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can't hear that. The microphone does a good job of muffling some of it. But um, anyway, just trying to go over all these things. The other reason to give an update like this and to make it a little bit long-winded and tell you about the particular details is one of you guys might have a better idea that you can put in the comments or you might have, um, when you see this footage that I'm about to roll on what we've been attempting, maybe you see something that I don't see. And by me interacting and, and taking y'all's suggestions, y'all's, <laughs> I'm back in I'm back in the South. <laughs> Happy 2021 from the from the redneck in the South. <laughs> um, you know, we I I I am open to suggestion. Uh, like I say, this is not my specialty. Um, I fully accept that we could be doing this wrong. Maybe there's a better way to do it. Uh, but those recommendations or or those things only come one of two ways. Either you guys help us out or I continue to stumble through it and we just kind of learn as we fail. And it's, I say fail, I'm, I'm kind of being facetious about, you know, why it's taking so long. It's not that, it's just, you know, have an idea, thought I had a solution for larger DIY sauna tents, didn't really work out. These are the pitfalls and this is what it's gonna take to progress it forward. If you see something along the way that would work better, and especially I don't have experience with this stuff, please, 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 let us know. <laughs> I would be happy to implement it, and it would actually save me a lot of time because it's taken weeks to kind of stumble through this. Then we figure out we've got the wrong size this, or we've got the wrong size that. Then it's reordering. Then it's another week till it gets here, and blah, blah, blah. You guys know the drill. So I think I've got a pretty good solution right now. I think I've come up with a way to have a really, really large tent that can accommodate up to four people or at least a transfer bench, electric chair, and have a little bit of space for an assistant. And I also think we've got a, a pretty good solution with using four to six heat lamps that provide provides adequate heat for that amount of, of cubic footage. Um, and we're trying to keep them up high so that if someone were to make an ex, uh, a mistake with an electric chair uh, controls or something like that, it doesn't just drive you right into you know, a 300 degree heat lamp. <laughs> because usually for, for, uh, for the single person ones or for the stool type where you just go in and sit in a stool and, and pivot, most of those are mounted a little bit lower because you're going to be standing and walking in. We want to keep them away from your head. But when you're sitting and you, you might possibly be in an electric mobility chair, uh, that's pretty close to not eye level, but kind of like shoulder, um, you know, chest level. And I don't really want to create anything that might cause trouble there. So what we're trying to do is get more heat with less, um, how, do, well, how would you say that? less uh we're, we're trying to reduce the probability or the likelihood or the ability for those things to be in like a bad burn zone <laughs> not burn zone most people aren't getting burned with them i'm just being extra cautious check out this footage let me know what you think um so we just came downstairs and this is the larger one that we were thinking Would accommodate transfer chairs wheelchairs whatever you would think and it would allow extra space for a care practitioner to be in here with the patient but the reality is i thought the ends would open so that you could have you know full standing height ability to come in and out roll in and out you know assist someone in and out but it just didn't turn out to to be that way and after comparing the two it seems like this would be really, I mean, for somebody of my height, this is going to be incredibly difficult to help somebody in and out. Uh, even though you have more length than you need. What do you think? I would agree. I mean, at this point, it looks like the other one actually might be easier to use. You could be right next to them and then you'd have height. Yeah, I think so too. And just the, I mean, at first it was attractive because you could have access to somebody on all four corners, right? That was the initial idea. So once you have them in there and it's zipped up and the lights are on, everywhere you see those black Velcros was an access panel. So you could have like a nurse on either side or whatever. But I was envisioning this being, you know, at least seven or eight feet tall. Right. But I think it's just too short. 
So I'm not really sure what you would, you know, what you would use this for. I think it's kind of a, not a worthless size, but just the proportions of it um, probably aren't a good fit for DIY song. Unless you just want to line up three or four stools and have a whole bunch of people <laughs> use the sauna with you. But girlfriend sauna. A what? A girlfriend sauna. Oh, is this going to the YouTubes? <laughs> a girlfriend sauna or singular? <laughs> okay, <laughs> wasn't sure. Wasn't sure what you were getting at there. All right. Well, I don't know what else to do really. It's kind of a bust.